everybody deserves a fair go in life. Australian anti-discrimination laws make it unlawful to discriminate against people, including those looking to rent. It's important that landlords and real estate agents who screen prospective tenants on behalf of landlords understand how our anti-discrimination laws work so they can do the right thing by tenants and avoid breaking the law. If you're a tenant and you think you've been unlawfully discriminated against, there are steps that you can take to make a complaint and have the issue resolved. New South Wales Fair Trading can help with advice to make sure tenants get a fair go in the rental market. Discrimination means treating someone unfairly just because they come from a particular group. For instance, you can't refuse to rent a property to someone or charge them a higher rent just because they come from a certain ethnic background, sex or sexual persuasion. It is also unlawful to reject a family as tenants or charge them more in rent if they're pregnant, have young children, elderly relatives or a disability. While it is unlawful to discriminate against tenants because they belong to a certain group, there are forms of legal discrimination. For instance, it's okay for landlords not to rent a property to a large family if the house is not big enough to accommodate them. It's also okay for a landlord to reject a tenant if their tenancy references don't check out, or if they don't earn enough money to cover the rent. It's also perfectly legal to place reasonable restrictions on the use of the property in the rental agreement. Common restrictions include no smoking indoors and no pets. These sorts of restrictions are acceptable because they apply to all potential tenants equally. Landlords and real estate agents who are found to have unlawfully discriminated against the person face penalties of up to $100,000 under anti-discrimination laws. Real estate agents can also be found guilty of discrimination if they follow a landlord's instructions which illegally discriminate against tenants. If a real estate agent is asked by a landlord to act unlawfully, they should refuse to carry out the instruction and make it clear they risk being fined or have their licence reviewed. In 2005, a real estate agent was found to have unlawfully discriminated against an Aboriginal woman who was seeking accommodation. In this case, the tribunal awarded $3,000 to the woman for psychological damage. Thankfully, most cases of discrimination don't end up in court. However, there is a significant cost in terms of time and reputation to any business where such allegations are made. So it's best for every real estate agent to adopt good business practices. The best way for an agent to avoid claims of unfair discrimination is to have a transparent selection process for tenants. This process should be written down as a policy and available to prospective tenants and landlords. There's no legal obligation to have one, but it's considered good practice because it assures everyone that the agency does not unfairly discriminate. The agencies should always give reasons when applicants are unsuccessful, helping them understand how decisions have been made. It's a good idea to display the policy in the office so everyone can see it. Professional bodies, such as the New South Wales Real Estate Institute, can help you develop and implement a policy. For more information about a fair go in the rental market and other tenancy and real estate issues, go to Fair Trading's website, www.fairtrading.nsw.gov.au. If you're a tenant and you think you've been discriminated against, you can always complain to the Anti-Discrimination Board or the Australian Human Rights Commission.